Oh, wouldn't it be nice to be there? I don't know where it is, but it's not here. Got a new printer. Laser. Something, something, something. Ugh. I'm so tired. It's Tuesday. I'm gonna put my lunch in here. Ugh. I still have my lunch there from yesterday. But I didn't eat. Okay, we should probably throw these away. Right, let's get rid of these. They're, they're nasty. Uh, oh, there's a nice forklift hole. Uh, oh my gosh, I was listening to this Candace Owen podcast on the way. I, like her latest podcast, I don't know what, whatever day it is. November 14th. Uh, oh. Oh. Gotta have hot sauce. All right, I gotta get this day started. This is gonna be horrible. All right, let's get this thing rolling. Uh, Hell yeah, dude. I like this. That was this Tuesday. is the best first six minutes of ever meeting anyone. <laughs> <laughs> that was just sick, man. Dude, I yeah, feel like I should know Chris DiStefano, but um, I have no idea toes. who he is. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I, Usually, I, if I don't you know remember people, I like Google like, it. Nowadays, like I can because see so many people have them, you have to be so radically different. And I've never seen even an intro like that, let alone someone's painted dick and balls in the first few minutes. So I think it's nice. I think I'm it's, trying uh, not to cuss on this channel. You have to. So, yeah, yeah. That is a hit. Yeah, because I, 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 I would have easily kept. If you would have said, you're going to have me on, I swear to God, we're going to watch this 60 minutes. It was 60 yeah, minutes. Six minutes. And then that was the show when well, I went. I would feel on, I would feel happy with that. I mean, dude, I would love to have kept it in and dated you with the whole thing. Uh, oh, wow, we got this. All right. It's, um, it's kind of cool. I'm, 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 slight, I'm, I'm fiercely We playing, have. And, um, 558 subscribers. I know that doesn't sound like a lot. Nobody cares. But I started this less than a month ago. Hello. And I think it's pretty cool. I haven't told my family I've been doing this yet. So one day I have to tell them about it. Like nobody knows. Absolutely nobody. I'm not even really. Obviously, I haven't told anybody. So. These the are all just time, yeah. first thing I told you is, I'm people going around to the world subscribing to it, seven minutes of my new which yeah. I thought was pretty that cool. I wanted to so grow it to more, hopefully, and then tell, the, sit them all down and tell them about it. On the podcast is but my goal isn't to do this forever. I, I, I want to do this one year. All right, go ahead, dude. My special wow. It's all good, brother. I think actually the exact oh, that's, same thing. That's an honor. That's it. I appreciate it. That's an honor. So, yes. And uh, then, uh, you know, like the media news I think it would be cool like to pass it over to somebody else like, to take over you know, the channel. Like getting canceled as That's you moving know, in and, and really exploded for you. getting their house uh, ready and doing all the crazy crap you have to do. I love it. I'm going November 14th. And meet somebody else's family. As I understand, that is the first date. Go to yeah, I think that would be a cool concept. Who knows where it ever. goes from there? Amazing, dude! It looks good, and you have great teeth. Thanks, bro. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If you were to you get that, teeth. Uh, like a rating, would that be? Man, I wish I had the money to redo my teeth like all those guys do. So, uh, yeah. You know, that thing I described in the beginning. My yes, teeth are all happens. jacked up, really? dipping yeah. since I was 14. You'll see it. Oh, oh yeah. Camera. Good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Good. Yeah. I like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. Really? I, I think we need to be thrilled. I should have you know, like, that. Now, like, what, do we, what do we do? Like, just watch us tell jokes for 60 minutes? Um, and, I don't know if I want to listen to Chris to stuff It's too much. It, you it, 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 you got to do something different. And with you, the skyjacking, uh, I oh, think yeah, this is a really good episode. Where is it? You're a pioneer. Right, well, thanks, man. Yes. Thanks. Okay, come on. I, I, believe... I don't think anybody's going to do that. Yeah, I do. You know, I do. I think that it's a new thing, and I don't know, man. You might inspire me to go down to Brea tonight and just fucking just get, Dude, I, I might give the front row ponchos. Although I think I've been shooting ropes lately. I think I have a bit of a swollen prostate, so I've just been dribbling. So I guess I'll just shoot it off my sneakers. 
You would know that because you're a doctor. What the hell? Yeah, are well, you Dr. DeGreen physical physical uh, therapy, physical therapy. So um, no, I would like to listen yeah, to Dana White, but, but I mean, I'm, I've I'm seriously not heard him on like a thousand. Years, but I did get my podcasts. license reinstated um, during the pandemic, so Ugh. I'm good, dude. I heard you say I'm just tired today. It's Tuesday. Years, uh, in medical training. I so medical hate school. going to work no, every no, no. day. I, I went to college and then four years. Like, of absolutely hate it. Program. I never wanted to work. Ever. I never just thought God put us on this earth to work every single day. Like, get up, go to work. Go home, go to bed, get up, repeat five days in a row. New York, yeah. For physical therapy, not like an actual doctor. Never understood it. No, 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 no. Physical therapy, massaging elbows, I'm good at that. What made you choose that profession? I wanted to not ever work in like a cubicle or anything like that. I didn't ever want to be like a person in like a sea of cubicles. That and was my, perfect you know, my timing. My mom like never liked her job, and I would, you know, single Thank mom, you. I would hear her hating her job all the time. She'd like, Thank just you. sit in this cubicle. I hate it, you know. And I was like, all right, I don't want to do that. So now I wanted to work with kids, so I became a pediatric physical therapist, and. Um, and then I started comedy. See, when I was my younger first though. Physical therapy like I'm 52. So, so my parents got up, went to work, had a job. So that's quickly, what they did. You know, so I was that's what we were taught to do. Two, three years. Now but there's just was, was so like, many other things you can do. I, you, know, you work with adults, and then they they're not grateful at all. Like you'll you know, like they just you know, if they take for granted because we get like you know we get older and we get we forget like to have, to be gratuitous to things. And then but when you work with kids, especially disabled kids. I mean, dude, their families. I mean, all these kids, they're all in wheelchairs. They have cerebral palsy and this and that. Mm, and just to get them to, horrible. like, stand up or take a step, it's like a monumental task. And I'm like, that. this feels better than, you know, massaging someone's pinky that, and then them, you know, calling me That a would be a cool job, like a job that actually out, helps you know? people yeah, in life. It's so interesting because um, the, the one human who I've known for the longest time, my buddy Abdullah, mm -hmm. we've known each other since we were nine years old. Yeah, my job helps nobody. Um, well, it helps the owner get rich, but it doesn't really help anybody. It doesn't really benefit anybody, except for big companies. Really? Like, how do I get skipped on the green light every time here? Twice. Again, skipped. Operating on unborn babies in the Stupid. And his whole rationale, is the same thing. He just does not want to work on adults. He, like, they, he's almost disgusted by it. Maybe he's not putting those words in his mouth, but I, I, he's disgusted with adults and only wants to help children because they have innocence. Yeah, he, he was saying that like he goes into the room, he opens up you know, all the, the amniotic sac, and then does an operation on the baby's fetus's spine, fuses it together, sews the baby up, and then sews the sac back. Oh all, all, that, all, that, all that genius, all that smart, and, and he's just known as Steve-O's friend. <laughs> Abdullah. 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 We should get him on the podcast. I yeah. Mean, he's, he's the best, man. He's absolutely the best. And I want to take a moment to be serious and say that I think you're the best, dude. Whoa. I, like, I, I really, like, like we, we, we don't know each other. Did, did we ever do comedy, like, in the in the round together during the pandemic? Nah, maybe once or twice, but never, I mean, never oh, spoke. Oh, right. okay. okay. Yeah. Um, and, um, you know, I think what, nice. what, uh, forget who who reached out to who sooner but i think you hit me up and dude i saw that clip of uh you and bert where you're so emotional about how <laughs> you know you probably hear about it all the time but i mean dude like it's just man i fell, fell in love with you on that oh thanks yeah that and that wasn't you know, some okay, people like after that clip came out, they were like, "Oh, you down staged down that." Right. I was like, "No, I re okay, me and Bert yes. were having a great time talking about They've just comedy. Like, I don't every know day. what the hell happened. We started talking about our kids, and then I started to have like All right, this epiphany live on DVI the show about like how much three time I'm my kids' instead life of using to yeah. pursue this, this thing and every I'm day. Like, well, I don't want to do that. That's like five hundred dollars. The way that the clip played out, I don't have five hundred dollars. Dude, I'm killing it. I guess I'm just thinking about it. so well. I'm touring. I'm making tons of money, but at the cost no, of not seeing my kids grow up. You said that I'm watching my daughters smart grow up to a camera. Yeah. Like, yeah. Considering I've made zero crying, money doing this. But it was kind of a bad look for Bert, if we're honest, because he's just sort of like <laughs> laughing at you. Yeah. 
Yeah. Like, laughing at you, not even understanding, like, any importance whatsoever for watching your children grow up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, then he goes, he goes, you know, I'm going to do that too after that. And then immediately, like, oh, look at that side by side. Like, There's right. something after else I want. It has to be a four seater too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I could just yeah, drive around and point out the things I can't afford all day long. That'd be an interesting video. When you are started. You probably didn't even know. You know, I bet you would be. I would be shocked if you knew what you made. Perhaps. I was too tired to record last night. Yeah, yeah it's Wednesday. And put, like, and you thirty thousand bucks. Probably didn't went to do sleep. much production. <laughs> you probably weren't sitting through post. You were just showing up, oh, getting dude, hammered. It's funny how time goes so well, quick when you're just sitting here waiting to go we into filming, work. But yeah. on any day that we weren't filming, and when you're I was there, unreachable. Off the yeah. grid. It's just miserable. And, and so, slow. like, but so those that moment of call Stevo. Give him thirty grand an episode. That went away. You go to rehab, and then you have to earn it back. And I, that's what I think. That's why I'm so impressed by where you are. Yeah, I think I'm just going to upload why today. The so, in fact, a special. Be so a many people lazy are, day. Uh, are doing specials these days. That is a special. But you didn't. It wasn't gifted to you. Does that make sense? Yeah, and uh, I really got to get in there. I just don't I'm, have yeah, the motivation really to do it. To you, man. Like I. <coughs> My first special, like, man, it did more harm than good. I wasn't ready for but it. But it's Wednesday, at least. Yeah, I was and, and, and Two more days. Ago, none of our, none of us were ready for it. There's yeah. a lot of people making two them more days. So ready for it. And I wasn't ready for mine. I did mine on Comedy Central, comfortably dumb. Comfortably dumb, yeah. And <laughs> to, the, to this day, I've had people ask to buy it because they look at the catalog, and they're like, I want that one. I won't sell it. I won't let people see it. Oh, I want people to yeah, see it. Yeah, this is a really so funny podcast. I like both of these guys. Yeah. I, sometimes it's like... Where's Tom Segura with that, too? It's like hilarious. watching a chef who goes, I love basil. And then you're like... And then you then you see... All right, well... This, and then you watch him cook with basil a ton. I'm trying to you motivate myself to turn off the example. car. And then you're like, wow. And, and then when you try there. his later recipes, you're it's like, it's really just garlic. Difficult. And you're like... Yeah, but if you didn't see the first thing of me telling you how much I love garlic, you'd never know how much I love garlic now. Like, like if you watch my early I specials, I think you... stand I think driving it, I don't know. every I'm not, day. Like, if you listen to my album, my album, albums used to be but the special But bills don't get paid year. if you but don't we, go to work. Once we all figured out how to make an album, everyone like, released subscribe, albums. We all sold them online. Whatever else and, they tell uh, you to do in most of these and, videos. Have a good and one. Now,